Yo, big, big, big shout out to you, 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 and especially you. Today, I'm with an amazing Zimbabwean Zeb Sikira. Zeb, what's good? I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, Zeb. Zeb, awesome. you know, a lot of people don't know, but there are a lot of zeros sitting in this car right now. <laughs> a, a lot of zeros. <laughs> a lot of zeros. And, you know, um, yeah. one thing I love about Zeb is one person, when you say his name immediately, you know what he is doing and what he's about. Zeb, tell us a little about yourself and what you're doing. Yeah, um, I'm a self-made millionaire. Uh, holla, holla. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, the DJ scene, you know, would pull oh, bring that, bring, 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 bring that back again, select. Rah! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a self-made millionaire and uh, I'm not ashamed to say that. Come on. Um, and I love actually saying that before I say anything. If someone asks me who <laughs> I am. Come on. Because I worked so hard to get to where I am. Come on. Um, you know, I'm a property millionaire. I invest in properties. Uh, I started investing in properties seven years ago. Wow. Um, got mentorship, which made me scale my business, you know, my property business from... Wow. Three properties at the time to over a hundred, uh, and that's in a hundred, yeah, hundred, hundred units. 100. 100 units. Um, you heard it, hundred <laughs> units, yeah, and uh, that's in the states and Canada, and then now Zimbabwe, ha, proudly back yeah, home, yeah, yeah, investing back home, yeah. And I'm an author as well, just wrote a book last year which became a bestseller. It's called You Can't Save Your Way to Wealth, you can get it anywhere. Just type, You Can't Save Your Way to Wealth. Ha. That's deep, that's yeah. deep. You know, Zeb, there are a lot of people out there, you know. And, you know, self-made uh, mm -hmm. millionaire. Yeah. I call myself George Billionaire. And, you know, we all started somewhere at the beginning. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of people who actually, you know, think that this happened overnight. What did you have to say to somebody there? Because I believe when you started, it wasn't easy. I mean, it, it sounds easy for you to say who yeah. you are now in yeah. three sentences. Yeah. But w what can you say to somebody who is out there who, who doesn't know exactly what they need in life to do? To become this person that you are right now yeah I, I would say you just have you know to dream it and to envision it um because that's what i did you know when i dropped out of school i had to to, to, to dream and to envision to see let, let, let me catch you somewhere yeah. you dropped out of school <laughs> yeah wait 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 that sounds a lot like me you know <laughs> i dropped out of school too we're not trying to tell people <laughs> to drop out hey, of school. Hey, hey. <laughs> don't don't misquote zeb and me right zeb also <laughs> dropped out of school yeah, yeah, yeah. So why, I, did you, why did you drop out of school? I, I think somebody uh, needs to hear this. <laughs> I dropped out of school because um, I couldn't be financially free or couldn't be a millionaire if I was in school. All right, right. With the vision that I had. So uh -huh. I had to get into property and yeah. I didn't have money at the time. Uh -huh. I was a student. So I decided instead of me like finishing my school, let me actually start going out there to hunt for money so that i can get into the industry i wanted to get and uh of course you know it worked out but uh it's a risk it is a risk um for me it was an all or nothing situation it was mm. either i make it or i lose uh, i don't make it but i was really really you know um sure that i was going to make it i like that i like that yeah. and you know it's amazing how the people who take risks are the ones who end up getting the results you know, so many people are yeah. comfortable, Zeb. Yeah. You know, they're okay with being average. Mm -hmm. But risk takers never get anything out of it. You, you, you took that risk and you were like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And yeah. I want the ultimate result to be success. Yeah. And seven years later, yeah. Zeb has not only four, <laughs> five, six zeros, but a whole lot more zeros than he did if he had gone to school. And, and back to your question, as you're saying, mm. was it easy or was it not easy? Yeah. It was not easy at all because... Um, first of all, I had to convince my own, you know, my parents yeah. that, you know, dropping out of school was the way to go and stuff like that. And they didn't see what I was talking about. Mm, I could mm. see it, yeah. but they could not see it. True. Right. So they wanted me to go to school. But anyways, I ended up taking that decision myself because I told myself, like, if I fail, I'm the one who's to blame. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If I take someone else's decision and I fail, guess what mm. I'm going to do? I'm mm. going to be like, oh, no, it's my parents. They wanted me to do this. I should have done this. <laughs> true that. True. Right. True, true. So, um, yeah, it wasn't easy. My parents did not believe in me. Um, so some people actually say, you know, what? oh, my friends don't believe in me, blah, blah, blah. But mm. I think the most difficult part is when your people oh, you know, in, in, in your yeah, family yeah, yeah, don't yeah, believe yeah, in yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And for me, I think that that was the hardest. Um, everybody else, you know, my friends don't believe in what I'm saying, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I didn't really care, but I had to go through that, the, 
the hurdles and yeah. to just prove people it wasn't also it wasn't about proving to people but it was like for me to go for the life that i wanted to go uh, wow. to get um, wow. and seven years later i mean i made the decision 10 years ago mm. and uh, you know 10 years later here i am sitting in the car with you and saying i'm a self-made millionaire hala, 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 hala. i don't yeah. know about you i mean his story sounds similar to mine you've heard me talking about my own dad telling me yo stick with that 300 dollars yeah you know, my dad had dreams about me, sir, <laughs> and in torn clothes. And imagine, <laughs> you know, I love my dad to bits, yeah. get this correctly. Mm -hmm. Up until now, you know, even having the conversation with my dad, I'm like, mm -hmm. dad, look at me now. Now, exactly. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know, sometimes, they were going to tell you that you probably wouldn't be here. So, yeah. which is exactly like what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, true. You have to make a decision because you have to be the captain of your own ship. ship yeah. Now, if you do things to please your parents, your friends, your pastor, your sister, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, you ain't going to end up you where you're it. supposed to. So, yeah. you have to take control of your life and mm -hmm. make that risky decision. Mm -hmm. Zeb did it. I did it. Everybody else in the world who you know may not really tell you the story but mm -hmm. they took the risk as well yes because yeah. life is about risk yeah 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 Zeb, tell us which is the book that you can say really changed your life you know people wow. like asking you know yeah. i never know about no chi but on that knowledge too much <laughs> 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 but after action. Action. <laughs> action. imagine that <laughs> so what book yeah. can you like highly recommend because i know there are thousands of people all mm -hmm. over the world who are going to mm -hmm. watch this video and um, yeah. what book and what did it do to you for you okay. to become I'm, what you I'm are? going to recommend two. Right. right. So the first book is called, um, you know, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Mm. Uh, that's an amazing book to read. Um, that book will show you the difference of, you know, being an employee to being an entrepreneur. And, and mm. actually it can carry you, it can show you how you can be a millionaire within, you know, a short space of time. Wow. That's if you actually get to read and understand what they're talking about. Mm. The Rich Dad Poor Dad actually uh, book also comes with a game called Cash Flow Game. Mm. I don't know if you guys have know about the Cash Flow Game, but go on Google and Google Cash Flow Game, mm. buy that game. That game changed my life. Wow. That game changed my life. It's taught me that for me, to be a millionaire, I had to invest. Mm. I had to invest in properties. And wow. one of the best principles that I got from there as well is your own house is not an investment. Hey! <laughs> hala, hala. Hey! <laughs> right. So yeah. get that stuff, guys. Um, and then the second book is... That's Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki, yes. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Rich Dad, Poor That's Dad. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the second book? And the second book is You Can't Save Your Way to Wealth and it's by yours truly, <laughs> Zach Sekira. In the building! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And my wife, uh, we co-wrote it, uh, Colleen Sekira. So oh, get wow. that book, guys, especially for people in the diaspora. Mm. Like, this this is like a gem and wow. it says the title says itself guys like you can't save your way to wealth there's no way you can take money and put it in the bank account and become a millionaire Come in on. 10 years and you know right. why because of inflation right yeah. and i always try to give people an example of where i live right mm. the interest rate in the banks is two percent all right but the inflation rate in canada is three percent no that means there's that You're losing money you're, you're losing, losing money. money. Keep, so there's no money way there. you're going to be a millionaire, right? Huh. So read the book, guys. You can't save your way to wealth. Boom. Oh, wow. You know, Zeb, that's, that's some, some amazing nuggets. You know, so Zeb, people, I, I know probably this is going to shock you, yeah. but I, I want you to think quick. So I was asked this question once, and, you know, I, I love telling people that success leaves clothes, clothes yeah. right? Mm -hmm. People need to know that, that, you know, for you to be where you are now, Zeb, I know you probably got a thousand principles that you use but today because of i want you to to summarize the top five that's right uh, whilst wow. i'm talking i'm giving you some time to think wow. your top <laughs> five success principles and guys this is just to show you that zeb is very smart you're gonna see how quickly these are gonna come out because you know this is a millionaire in the building and millionaires are quick Ooh. and fast thinkers so five i'm five. gonna keep quiet so zeb can you know five, five. bring the five down wow. zeb number five Okay, so number five, I would say um, you got to be a hard worker, mm. right? You got to work hard. You got to be someone who's able to actually, you know, roll up their sleeves That's right. and work, mm. all right? Uh, number two, uh, you got to be a dreamer, mm. right? You got to envision, like you got to see things, That's right, right? Uh, for you to be able to make it. Number three, you got to be a person of integrity, mm. right? You 
I say like what you say mm. no, say what you're gonna do and do it like say what you do whatever i don't know what to mm. say but like you gotta say it and you gotta do it yeah because a lot of people would say things that they won't do mm. right that's deep so when you give someone uh, your word make sure you do it all mm. right um number three number that was number three that was number, number two four. no number two all right, okay. We're going number three now. Okay, all right. All so right. number three um, is... Uh, number three is execution. Mm. Execution. Guys, you can talk as much as you can talk. Mm. Like, I, you can go on a live mm. and be like, oh, you know, um, I'm going to be a property person in two yeah. years or yeah. what, 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 mm. right? Mm. But if you don't actually go and start looking at properties, mm. if you don't actually go and start doing your calculations, mm. if you mm. don't put mm. yourself in that realm, yeah. right, there's no way you're going to be a property millionaire or whatever you want to be, right? So execution is key, mm. all right? That's deep. All right, and then uh, number four. Yeah. All right, so number four, you have... To make sure that you don't care about what people say. Hello, hello. All right. Big shout out to my pops and your pops. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of people are not successful in life because they cared about what other people are going to say. Come on. And that's one principle for me that has actually like held me to be who I am. Not caring. Mm, you mm. know, people. Someone will come and be like, "Hey, um, I remember one time when I wanted to get into real estate, like." I was speaking to one of my friends yeah. and I said, yo, I saw this mentorship program. I think it's, it's great. It's you not know, real estate and stuff. Mm. And he's like, no, don't do that. I'm like, why? He's like, it's a, um, what you call it? It's a scam. Mm. Mm. He was like, it's a scam. Don't do that. Mm. And guess what? I never listened to him. I went and took it and here I am today. It's self-made wow. millionaire. Come on. And years later, guess who's doing real estate now? Mm. And that friend. And that oh, friend. <laughs> oh, he went for the mentorship <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. After, after you saw. <laughs> right? Yeah. Big yeah. shout out to you too, wherever you're at. <laughs> right? So um, it's important that you shouldn't care what people think about you. Yeah. You hold the power to your destiny. That's number five. Mm. You hold the power to your destiny. Wow. You hold the keys. Mm, right? Mm, mm. Whatever decision that you make, know that you are the one who is to blame if something happens. Don't blame other people. That's right. You hold you hold the keys. <laughs> The right, they're your hands. Don't blame other. I'm pretty Come sure. You, I'm pretty sure you know those guys. Yeah. Who, like, if anything happens to them or something happens, like, oh no, it's because of George. Yeah, uh, George blaming Shumi. anybody. Oh, this is everybody. The economy. Oh, the president. Oh man, I grew up in the rural area. Yes, I didn't get education. Yes, right. Yeah. Do not blame people. Mm. You hold the power to your destiny, and I think those are the top five. Uh, but I just wanted to add as well. Like, guys, um, I'm now an executive producer, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm an executive producer in music, guys. Hala, Can you hala. believe it? Hala, hala. <laughs> yeah. I used to dream that one day I would be in music, but now I'm in music, guys. I'm working and empowering some youths, you know, ghetto youths. I came from the ghetto, yeah. so I understand what Which it is. Which ghetto you came from? Uh, in Bulawayo. Oh, wow. Ghetto 7. All right, yeah. all right. In Ghetto yeah, 7. In Ghetto 7, yeah. in Bulawayo. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, guys, I speak Debele and Shona. I speak mm. both languages. But yeah, you know, um, music is... Give a shout out to your people in Ghetto 7. To my people seven. in Debele, in yeah. Ghetto 7. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, guys, in Funuguti, Linjani, Lipilile, Yini, Muzeb, Ngakulila, Kona Ngabu, E Bulawayo, in Ghetto 7, so Ngiti. You know, a big shout out to you guys. Because we are going to be able to go to Kona Ngala. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 I don't know about you, but I know that somebody somewhere right now, wherever you're at, you're definitely, you know, going to have some, some, some butterflies. You've just been injected with some inspiration. And, you know, for me, Zeb, mm -hmm. a lot of people, and, and, and I like you spoke about execution, mm -hmm. you know, execution. Faith without action is D-E-D. -E it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Right? And if you're just going to watch this video... You know, growing up, I used to see Nigel, Strive, and, mm -hmm. you know, watching them and hearing them speak, mm -hmm. how they sacrificed, how they worked hard. Mm -hmm. And then, like we're saying, success leaves clues. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you had to sacrifice. You had to go against the status quo mm -hmm. for you to be where you are today. And a lot of people remember this. Without working hard, believing in yourself, and doing the exact things as I've told you, you'll never have that many zeros in your life. And you know what? For me and Zeb, I can guarantee you, we don't need a tombstone for people to know that we were here. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. A, lo a lot of y'all are probably going to need a tombstone to be like, oh, yeah, 
you know, Jim Black was alive. Yeah. But because of what we're doing, we're not only doing it for ourselves and our families, but we're trying to empower and help so many people around the world. Yeah. Because all it takes is for you to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Zeb dropped out of school. I dropped out of school. <laughs> Zeb got mentorship. I got mentorship. You can't make it alone. Yeah, what do you have no to way. say to people about mentorship? Because people mis misunderstand mentorship. Mm -hmm. you, I know you got your mentorship for property, mm -hmm. but is there anybody else who like has really inspired you and mentored you on your journey as we wrap up? Um, yes. Um, there's um, a few people, you know, um, that were entrepreneurs and stuff like that in Canada uh, that I, you know, spoke to here and there mm. just to talk about, you know, their journey if I was going through stuff. Um, but the biggest, I think, takeaway on mentorship is a lot of our brothers and sisters are afraid sometimes to take on mentorship mm. um, because it comes with payment, mm. paying for mentorship and stuff yeah. like that. But people don't realize that in order for you, for example, to be a doctor, where do you go? You go to school, right? Mm. That. In order for you to be an accountant, where do you go? You go to, to school. You know, that. Our people love to pay for school, mm. right? Mm. But if there's someone now who's done, say, property, mm. right? You cannot learn how to invest in property in school. You can't. So what do you do? You got to get mentorship from someone who is doing that. Mm. For you to get that, you got to pay. Mm. And the reason why you pay is because... We have noticed that if people don't pay, they don't pay attention. That's true. That's true. That's right. True. So now people come to me and say, but it's expensive and so on and so forth, whatever. Mm, right. Mm. But you have to understand that you need to offer value to your mentor. Mm. If you want to get mentorship for free per se, mm. offer value. Come How on. do you offer value? You study your mentor. Mm. You study George. Mm. What is George missing? That's right. That you can provide. Mm. Right. Yeah. And George will get you the mentorship if you provide something that he needs. Complimenting. And there's no money. Is there mm. a transaction there? No. Right? Mm. So it's not all about money. Yeah. It's all about what can you offer Come if on. you don't That's have deep. money. That's deep. Mentorship is important. Mentorship will cut your learning, your learning curve, right? Mm. Like if you're supposed to be successful in 10 years... Mm you will be successful in five years or in three years Come on. because your mentor will make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that he made. Come on, that's deep. That's why mentorship is important, man. Wow, man, Zeb, this has been amazing. And, uh, you know, it's always a pleasure talking to you. I know you're probably going to be on your way back to Canada. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I met Zeb, you know, very unique way. I, I love this guy. He's so down to earth. And, you know, we have a lot of things we're definitely going to be working on together. Yeah. And uh, that's what it is, guys. You know, we, we now network. Your association determines mm -hmm. your destination, determines your net worth. So we're hanging around. And trust you me, every time we're talking, it's just not, it, it's, it's productive. Mm -hmm. You know, the t people you hang around with, the conversation changes. Mm -hmm. If you're hanging around with chickens, they're probably <laughs> talking about, Ningi versus <laughs> Ningi, or this <laughs> versus Ningi, 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 you know. But when yeah. you get to a certain level, your conversation changes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, make yourself very uncomfortable by going and hanging out with those people so that you force yourself out of the chicken race. You know, mm -hmm. eagles, you don't see an eagle flying anywhere. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you're in the company of eagles, they're always seeing the bigger picture. But, yo, big shout out to Zeb. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Nothing Thank but you. love. What is the name of your company? What are your social media handles? I want everybody to watch this. Follow Zeb. Now, this guy's crazy about property. Today, we were like a four or five properties, and this guy was doing videos and lives. This guy's crazy. But you see, that's what shows you he loves what he's doing. He mm -hmm. doesn't need to be activated to do that. People can think he's crazy, he's a crackhead, he's doing this. But guess what? Until you love something so much, mm -hmm. you're going to do it and not even give... Uh, whatever what anybody says so zeb give them your your social media handles all right so my uh, instagram it's z or z sikira um you can type you know on google zeb sikira and you're gonna see all sorts of things social media uh books uh youtube like everything just type zeb sikira and you'll be able to get to get me and let me just leave you with one thing mm. before we go and that's uh that you are one decision away from a totally different life. One. <laughs>
one decision away from a totally different life. So, my boy, your boy, Zeb Tequila. Peace. Peace, guys.